As the U.S. considers military intervention in Syria, Syrian President Bashar al-Assad has warned any strike on his country would fail. Assad continues to deny charges his regime is responsible for last week's alleged chemical weapons attack on a Damascus suburb. According to the New York Times, Assad told a pro-Kremlin Russian newspaper U.S. military intervention was politically motivated and would end up in, quote, failure, just like in all the previous wars they waged, starting with Vietnam and up to our days. But analysts say a military response from the Obama administration and its Western allies appears imminent. This as U.S. naval forces are moving closer to Syria, giving the Pentagon the option for a strike. Right now, four guided missile destroyers are in the Mediterranean. Two of them remain in firing range of Syrian targets. Also, at least one U.S. Navy nuclear submarine with Tomahawk cruise missiles is nearby. Over the weekend, Assad gave the green light to a team of U.N. inspectors to visit the site of the alleged attack. But observers say their investigation might come too late, as any evidence of nerve gas could have already been destroyed. That's why the White House tone changed so quickly. From Friday's get the inspectors in to Sunday's it's too late to be credible. Monday morning, the U.N. said unidentified snipers shot at the U.N. convoy as it was on its way to the site, forcing the team to suspend its mission. No one is believed to have been injured in the attack. Turkey's foreign minister told reporters more than 30 countries are involved in discussions for a backup plan in Syria if the U.N. can't agree on a response. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn.